Hey guys, today's a bit of a different video because I am drawing different YouTubers or art YouTubers profile pictures. These are small art YouTubers that I really enjoy watching, whose styles I really love, and I've seen this challenge done a lot on their channels, so I wanted to start it. The first thing that I did was sketch out all of the colors that I needed just to make sure I had all of the colors that would fit into the profile pictures. And then I previously beforehand sketched their profiles just because I don't like sketching on camera. So yeah. So the first channel that I'm doing is Isabel Illustrates. Now Isabel, I think she has like 300 something subscribers. What I really love about her is that she only started like doing art a lot maybe two or three years ago. And I think that that's such a courageous thing to do, is to just kind of jump into it. Just, you know, start doing something that you love. And I really like her videos. She's really funny. Um, her ideas are really creative, and her artwork is so cute. She uses colors that I usually don't use in my artwork, and so she inspires me to make artwork using those colors. I was pretty happy with the sketch that I came up with for this first profile. Um, I was very tempted, I'm gonna admit, to use freckles because I literally cover all of my drawings with tons of freckles and so I was really hoping that one of these profiles would have freckles. I looked closely, none of them did, and then while I was editing, I figured out Isabel Illustrates profile has freckles. And I was like, come on, man. <laughs> so later I did add some, but I didn't take a picture of it, but yeah, I did make sure that I took advantage of that. The colors in Isabel's profile are ones that I don't use too often, but I really did like the way that it turned out with my style. One thing I really enjoyed about doing this challenge is that um, the artists' profiles that I drew, our art styles are so different, so it was such a fun way to draw the same picture, but also just like do it in my own style, you know? I don't know. It was really fun. I really recommend doing this if you have your own channel or just for fun. Please go check out Isabel's channel in the description because she's really underrated and I love her channel, guys. And I really enjoy drawing her profile. Next, we got good old Lemon Doodle. Let me just say, I haven't been watching Lemon Doodle for that long, but when I started watching her, our styles, even though they're very different, I immediately fell in love with hers and I think we have some similarities. I really love um, just like the way she does her line art. I think it's very similar to mine with sort of like a sketchy feel and her artwork is so cute. She's hilarious. Definitely go check her out. Um, and she does a lot of like draw with me kind of type videos. Yeah, they're really chill, you know, just really good content. Now, while I was drawing this, I was feeling a little bit discouraged just because the skin wasn't turning out for me at first, and when I tried to put blush on the cheeks, it sort of like t lifted some of the color. So even though I wasn't totally finished shading and stuff, I immediately went, went in with a line art and quickly did that. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cute. It looks like my style. It looks like her profile. I definitely wanted to put the background in there just because it's really cute. So I just drew in some lemons and then filled in the rest of the background with blue. I love the lemons all over this design and I also love the lemon that's on her sweatshirt. I almost missed it at first and I was like, hey, there's a lemon right there. So I just made sure to put that little guy in there. I think shading the lemon to the background was super fun. I just used to use like a couple of shades of yellow and greens and put those in there. Two things I did change up in my design is her glasses were a little more square. I wasn't totally sure if I would like mess up, so I just did round glasses. And then also the character, I'm not sure if it's her in her profile picture, has he's showing their teeth. Um, honey, I can't draw teeth, so yeah, I just made her mouth closed. But I still think it resembles hers very nicely, and I think it came out really cute. Of course, at the end I had to add Lemon's Ionic Hey There, it's Lemon Little phrase at the top and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Next we have Minty Sketchbook and I love all of the artists that I'm drawing today but when it comes to Minty I always go to her channel not only for inspiration but also for a laugh because she's so stinking hilarious and I feel like I'm the only one that noticed that. I never see other people say like Minty is so funny, but I watch her videos and I am um, crying. She's hilarious. 
the colors that she used in her profile picture are very different from a lot of the colors that I use so I was pretty excited about that and also the challenge of drawing her profile picture just because our styles are so different from each other I really like how this turned out especially the hair I think her the hair in um, her profile picture was a little more lighter like caramel colored but I think this turned out okay bro the hands though <laughs> I'm not good at drawing those, so I just kind of try to do my best. I don't think it turned out too bad. I was trying to figure out what to do at first because I was like, I do not want to draw the hands, man. I do not want to draw the hands. Um, but it turned out fine. I, I think it was, I think it was a good practice. And also, I need to stop trying to like hide the hands and my pictures behind the character because I do that <laughs> to avoid drawing them. Um, and yeah, so it was pretty good practice. I added in Mincy's background, which is like green, sort of like tropical foliage, I think, with like a yellow sun in the background, and then the whole like background color is this like teal, um, which I thought was really fun, and I think the colors really made this look very similar to her icon. I think without the colors, you might have been able to guess, you know, like the sketch was based off of Mincy's profile, but I think the colors really just brought it together. I really hope you guys can go check out Mincy and just send her some love. I really enjoyed drawing her profile and I really like her channel. Last but definitely not least, we have Sarah Studio, aka Melon Doodle. I think she changed her name. I love Sarah's videos because just like all the other artists in this video, she dedicates a lot of time into her videos and she really, you can tell she really loves what she does. Her videos have given me a lot of tips on like shading for hair and skin and her style is really, really cute. I love it <laughs> so much. She's also really good with colored pencils and she does some tutorials and stuff. I forgot to mention Minty also does some tutorials and I think Isabel does some too. So definitely check those out as well. Okay, I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed this. But I realized every single one of the profile, the characters in the profiles I'm drawing today are wearing sweaters. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I just noticed that and I was like, huh, that's dope. So I really enjoy drawing like the sweater texture on the sweaters just because you probably have learned by now by watching my other videos that I really like texture. Sarah's profile was probably like the easiest to draw just because um, she didn't really have like items in the background she mostly just has like a solid color i really like her profile it's very like simplistic but it's also kind of makes the main character stand out real quick i just wanted to talk about um like why i picked these people i am not really like a part of the small art community totally just because i feel like i started my channel way later than these girls but I just wanted to kind of shout out and recommend them to you just because I really like the small art community. I think everyone is very supportive and everyone just has a lot of fun growing together in their artwork. Um, just because I didn't pick some channels doesn't mean that I like these ones more. These were just a few channels that I'm really inspired by and whose artwork I thought would really fit with my style. If you want to see me do another video where I pick different artists, that would be really awesome too. But I just wanted to shout out and show you these girls so that you can check them out. Here's the finished product. Like I just said on the screen, Sarah and Minty ended up looking like twins. I don't know what happened, but I think they could be like related or something. I don't know. I love how all of these turned out. I was a little discouraged sometimes while making some of them just because I didn't think they were turning out very good, but I really like the end results. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out these girls, and I hope you guys have a beautiful week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!